Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I have romances with weddings in them. I do already have a recommendation video for this trope. I'll link it down below. This is part two. So here are 10 more romance recommendations with the wedding trope. In these 10 romances, you have the couple getting married. There is a wedding happening, but a lot of these books have definitely unique weddings to say the least. One of those unique weddings comes from The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. This is a fantasy romance book and our heroine in here has been raised her entire life to be the best assassin and spy possible. Her dad, the king of this fantasy realm, is basically like, you're gonna grow up to marry King Arryn from this neighboring country and we want to get information from him. So um, you're gonna marry him. So that's what happens at the towards the beginning of this book is they have this wedding scene in the rain. I was just like gobsmacked by how beautiful it sounded. Like, it, like it's literally in the dark in thunderstorm rain, but I couldn't help but be completely awed by how descriptive it was. The majority of this book specifically is about Laura trying to learn as much as possible about Aaron and his people and figuring out whether or not she should even go through with what she's been raised to do her entire life. Again, the wedding scene in here was beautiful to me and you get to like read about it in both of their points of views. And Aaron's point of view of this wedding scene, I was like, a little puddle. <laughs> Next is Heavy Crown by Sophie Lark. This is the last book in the Brutal Birthright series, which is a mafia romance series. The wedding scene in this book is like one of the most memorable moments in here because it is so like, what the heck? This is the forbidden romance between Yelena and Sebastian. They come from rivaling mafia families and they are sworn to like despise each other. But then at the beginning of this book, Sebastian ends up rescuing Yelena from a guy trying to kidnap her and thus starts their very forbidden romance. And Sebastian does not know that Yelena has been tasked, much like Lara from the other book, to get to know Sebastian for reasons having nothing to do with love, but Yelena falls in love with him regardless. And there is a wedding scene between these two characters where crap goes down. Crap definitely goes down at this wedding. So definitely watch out for that scene in this book. One of my favorite weddings in a historical romance is Devil in Winter by Lisa Kleypas. This is book number three in her Wallflower series. Evie is our heroine in here and you got to read about her in the previous books in the series, but she's one of the Wallflowers. She's fairly shy. She has a stutter and she was given a large dowry um, or large sum of money actually from her family, um, like her close related family um, when her parents ended up dying. And her extended family is like, okay, we want to have that money. So you're gonna marry this cousin of yours. And she's like, no, no, that's not gonna happen. So she ends up going to Sebastian who we met in book two. And she knows he's in desperate need of money even though he's a villain of sorts. And she proposes that he will get her money if she marries him so she doesn't have to marry her cousin. One of the first scenes of this book is them getting in a carriage for like days going to Gretna Green to get married. Um, back in historical times um, you had to like wait for a marriage license and they didn't want to wait so you could go elope only in Scotland and Gretna Green and their whole traveling excursion there is very interesting. You get to read about them being alone for the first time together and Sebastian being all grumpy but then he's also taking care of Evie for the whole ride. Like he makes sure to put warm bricks under her feet so her feet aren't cold cause it's snowing outside. Their wedding is short and sweet cause it's a little elopement in Gretna Green but it holds a lot of great significance. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite ones is The Half Orcs Maiden Bride by Ruby Dixon. This is the new edition that I have and I'm in love with it. Look at Yolanthe. And then I will never not show off the step back of this book. Like. Yes, this is one of Ruby's uh, fantasy romance books and it lo has a lot of the same marriage customs as The King's Spinster Bride, which I talked about in the first edition of this trope video series. So Lady Olanthian here, she is the only daughter in her family that is not already married and she feels kind of down about that. She's always wanted to get married, but she's very tall and a little robust and no man has ever like vied for her attention. And then one day her father comes up to her and is like, I found you a husband, let's go to him. She's very eager, but she's a little shocked to realize when they get to her future husband's estate that um, 
he's an orc or half orc. Um, his mother was a human. It thus starts their marriage rituals and customs that, oh my gosh, I loved. <laughs> I was like chuckling reading this because this hero wants to marry her so bad, but he also wants to do right by her and give her like these marriage rituals that mean a lot to like their people. Um, but he just wants her so bad and at every twisted turn, like these marriage rituals end up getting interrupted and he's so frustrated, <laughs> but he just wants Yolanthe so badly. Oh, another one that I really love is With You Forever by Chloe Lee. This is a marriage of convenience romance between Axel and Rooney. This is book four in the Bergman Brothers series. Rooney is best friends with Willa from book one, the heroine from book one. And the Bergmans own this A-frame cabin in the mountains. I don't know where specifically, but in the woods, in the mountains somewhere. And she really needs a break from life. And so Willa like offers like, go stay at the A-frame cabin. No one's there right now. But when she gets there, there surprisingly is someone there. <laughs> Axel just happens to be there who she's had a little bit of a crush on. Um, and Axel's currently trying to fix up the A-frame. It's kind of falling apart. So he tells Rooney like, how about you just go stay in my cabin with me? That's a few miles down the road. So they have like a forced proximity situation. And then Axel ends up realizing that he is going to receive an inheritance from his uncle, but only if he's married and he wants to use that money to like uh, save the A-frame home. So Rooney's just like, why the heck not? Let's just get married. So it's a marriage and convenience romance. And the little wedding ceremony that's in this book, like between these two characters was so beautiful for how like small and intimate it was. I I loved it. Next is Bulky by Jessica Kane. This is a short little novella, obviously in Jessica Kane fashion. It is fairly hot and short. <laughs> Josie is our heroine and she has been in love with her best friend's dad for quite a long time and she's about to go off to college and she's gonna just make her feelings known finally. <laughs> and Gunnar's definitely really struggling with his feelings because that's his son's best friend <laughs> and she's 18 and he is older than 18 for sure. So definitely an interesting age gap novella. Um, I can't really talk about the wedding scene in here because it's towards the end, but I really did enjoy that part of the book. Um, I can't really talk about it again, but needless to say, there's a wedding scene in here if you want to pick it up. Next, I have Seduction of a Highland Lass by Maya Banks. I love her Highlander romances. If you've not read her Highlander romances and you have Highlander romances, what are you doing with your life? Like you have to pick up her books. This is the second book in her McCabe trilogy. Alaric is basically betrothed to marry the daughter to the chief of a neighboring clan and he is going to go travel there to go basically propose to her. He's never met her before. But then he gets ambushed with his men um, in the woods while traveling and he passes out on his horse. His horse winds up at the doorstep of Keeley's home who lives in a cabin in basically in the middle of nowhere. And she is a healer. She ends up healing him, nursing him back to health. And he thinks this whole time there's this beautiful mystical angel taking care of him and saving his life. While he's staying in this cabin, like recuperating and getting better, they get to know one another and fall in love. It's beautiful. But then his brothers end up showing up and bringing him back to their home and bring Keely along with them. Um, but Alaric is still betrothed to marry the daughter of this neighboring clan. Like if he doesn't marry her, there could be like war between them. The wedding scene in this one is definitely interesting. There's heartbreak, there's love throughout it. Like there's a lot going on. It's one of the most iconic wedding scenes to me because a lot is going on in it. And I just loved Keely in here. I love her so much. And reading this book is definitely worth a read just to read about Keely. Another historical is A Nun for the Viking Warrior. I love this book too. Like, oh my gosh, more people need to read this book. This book only has 175 ratings on Goodreads. And like, it is so good. I gave this book five stars. It's one of my favorite historicals and it's so sad that more people haven't read this one. This is the romance between Amy and Jorand. So Joran is a Viking warrior and Amy is a woman who is about to take her vows to be a nun. But then she gets stopped like shortly before her vows by the Viking warrior and he tells her like, uh, your dad arranged for me to marry you. She's absolutely terrified. Um, she never wanted to marry this. One of the reasons why she decided to become a nun. She never wanted to be under the thumb of a man ever again. Her father was very abusive, um, but the king also has his hand in this marriage and he is watching them to make sure that they get married. So the two of them do get married. There's a whole wedding scene in here. And I do want to mention their first kiss, like puddle on the floor, melt. Like I love their first kiss. It's one of my favorite books that has like a first kissing scene. And so it's about the two of them getting to know each other as like a married couple. It's like slow and sweet and passionate at the same time. Like 
I love this one. For an alien romance, I have Our Tech by Honey Phillips, another like sweet one. Um, so our heroine in here lives on this planet that's like snowing basically the whole time. Neighboring their like human village is this ranch that's very large that is now owned by seven um, alien brother in arms. Artek is like the leader, basically the commander of these aliens, and he comes to the village every now and then to get supplies. She works at the basically general store. Her dad owns a general store and she works there. He ends up meeting her there and just becomes completely smitten for her. And they don't even like know each other, but he goes up to her and is like, do you want to marry me? Like he's very cute and sweet about it. And she wants a change in her life. She wants it to be more exciting. She doesn't want to be the general store's daughter for the rest of her life. So even though she doesn't know this man, she agrees. Again, another wedding scene that's really cute and sweet and it really sparks the other weddings that happen in the other books in the series with his brothers. And the last one that I have to mention is The Runaway Bride by Cassie Mint. This is a short novella and this book is a part of the Bombshell Bride series. So every book in this series has to do with a wedding of some sort and they don't have anything to do with one another. They just involve the same theme of like brides. Leo is gonna do everything possible to make Mia his and that includes unaliving his own brother and father to make Mia his <laughs> because he's now made his way up in the mafia world. His brother and his father were above him in rank in their mafia family. And so because of his station, he gets to mirror whoever he chooses. And he chooses the daughter of his rival, Mia. He has been in love with her since he laid eyes on her, but Mia is absolutely terrified of him. She literally jumps out of the church window and runs away right before the wedding starts. So uh, he's on the run to go track her down. <laughs> I love Leo. He will do like absolutely anything to make this woman his. Like, I love a man. I love a man who will do absolutely anything possible. Like he literally unalived his own brother and dad to make Mia his. Talk about commitment there. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. Those were 10 roommates recommendations with a fabulous wedding scene. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a bride emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.